right. It should be online. Probably. Uh, only one way to find out. So, I'm going to say we're ready to get started. I'm basically treating this as just evidence, because I don't know how many people are going to watch this, but it's proof that I did it. If anyone does join and uh, there's any issues with the, uh, the sound or anything like that, if you can't hear it, if you can hear it too much, then just yell at me until I do something about it which may take a while because I'm not a competent human being so, I suppose I should probably play video games for 12 hours oh it's a hard life if you, if you don't know Metal Gear quick quick recap this handsome fella guy called Jack he was a soldier and then he got kidnapped by the AI Illuminati and then was turned into a breakdancing cyborg ninja. And if that doesn't make any sense to you, then I don't know what to tell you. That makes complete sense to me. Now, now, now he does breakdancing cyborg ninja stuff. 
Like, it doesn't matter, okay? It, well, that's all you need to know. Is a, is a breakdancing cyborg ninja. Uh, let's play the Dora. Why not? You can, you can see the basics. The simple stuff. Easy things. I may have forgotten there's a slightly racist German caricature. Yeah, it's literally called Ninja. There's no, there's not a lot of subtlety in this game. Do, do, do. It slides under, jumps over. You really don't have to think about it. I'm holding down one button. You can also attack while in motion with the Ninja Run, you know. Swinging your blade while dashing, for example, or striking your foes with a sliding attack. I mean, you can do that, or you can just hit things. You can slide as well. Why not? I keep on having to think to, like, say things out loud. I'm not used to this. Usually this is all going on in my head. Which is terrifying to think about. Now then, let's run a basic battle diagnostic. Try and neutralize all the enemies that appear. String light and throw it together to perform combination attacks. Alright, I wasn't actually meant to do that, but I've okay, I've played this game a few times, okay. Oh also, uh content warning. That I don't know what you're talking about. Perfectly normal. Combat is not all offense, however. You also need to protect yourself. First, follow the direction of the enemy's attack. Parry those attacks by executing light attacks of your own in the same direction. This is how you parry. It is the keystone of your defense. <laughs> keystone of your defense, also known as literally the only way to defend. Oh no. Draw foes in as close as possible and parry their blows to leave them exposed to counter attack. From your perspective, it will appear as if the enemy is frozen in time or at least moving very slowly. Again. It's the perfect opportunity for you to carefully aim your strike, then slice your foe apart. Kind of what I was already doing. You will not be able to parry every type of attack. Watch your foot's movement carefully. Uh, yeah. It, it's a tutorial. I'm not exactly going to be challenging, is it? be weird if it was. So out of place. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. 
We prefer private security providers, sir. Public relations in action right there. Public's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Oh yeah, deterrence. Well known to work brilliantly. Full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. What has happened? Someone's blocking a lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! Here's the actual main character. Hey. Who was that? The cyborg. One of our competitors? Corsi, what is happening? We got hit, sir. A cyborg. Cool. Exit comes up unaffiliated. I'll notify all checkpoints. Get the money out of them. Yes, sir. It's all very dramatic. Stay calm. Except for him. You know what, of all the abilities that are going to be on display in this game, throwing off your jacket and suddenly having no clothes on has got to be the most amazing. Like, that is a talent. I know people that would kill for that ability. Yeah, and I guess the magic lightning sword thing, technically impressive, and cutting a wall. But... What if you really needed to get undressed really quickly? You never know. Right. Again. So the game's big gimmick is that you can cut things. It sounds like nothing, but this is actually really impressive for 2013. Was it 2013 this came out? 2013 or 2012. Either way, really cool at the time. So 
So I've got to cut enemies and you can cut the scenery. Not everything, mind you. Can't cut this tree, for example. I am absolutely lying. I did not know you could do that. I'm so... This game's amazing. What are you doing here? I'm busy cutting down trees. I'm going to... I'm going to defeat everyone in this game through deforestation. Oh no. Oh, no, he's already dead. Never mind. You know what? You aren't, though, so that was... Just going to take the top of your head. Mine now. R really? Can you imagine seeing me do all of that, and then that guy's like, Yeah, I could take him. And apparently this guy. At what point do you just go, I'm not getting paid enough for this? Hugh Cromwell, apparently. Oh, that's Ben. <laughs> it, it, did, 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 did you know it's related to Oliver Cromwell? Had no idea. Couldn't, couldn't tell. Rest in peace, bold security guy. You didn't have a name, and you're not relevant to the story. Kidnapping him, just kill him. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. Wow. Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? <laughs> this is your answer. <laughs> No, the answer is the Emperor Palpatine Surgical Reconstruction Center. It's the only way. I'm fairly certain that's where all of these guys got their uh, their cyborg enhancements. Not while he's still useful. <laughs> you no, 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 it's messed up. Raiden actually does have another body, like a better body than this. But he, he doesn't have access to it because of budget limitations. So he has to use the beat up old one. 
This is actually canon, bro. I'm not making this up just for the joke. Oh no. That's just rude. I can't tell how the sound is because the uh, the music coming through on the uh, on the stream. Why does he say that like it's normal? Why well, this is set in the future, but... Oh yeah, he just casually swapped out like a hydraulic saw for goddamn plasma cannons. gonna do the thing. Oh no. You really... He refuses to play ball, this guy. Too good at dodging. Oh well. I suppose I just better give him a pedicure. So this guy was the main boss of Metal Gear Solid 2. Like, it, well, wasn't, but it, it, it was meant to be. He's kind of a joke in this. He's, he's literally the introductory boss to show you how bosses work. Because he's just so easy. You run up to his foot and you stab him a few times. And he's like, oh no, I stubbed my toe. That is the end of me. But in robot. Well known fact about me, I don't speak robot. Should probably learn. It's probably it's the language of the future. Stop doing that. Very annoying. Game's a little bit over the top. A little bit. For a shot. Very good. But do not rest easy just yet, huh? Combat rank B because I spent so long trying to get him to do the tail attack. Didn't even do it. 
Yeah, well. You can't, yeah, you can, cut, you can cut off his tail. That's what I was going to try and show. But it just didn't want to play ball. And all that time... Sundowner got there. <laughs> He's not an Olympic sprinter. He's definitely not. You'd think he'd be. Yes, I know. Could just use the stairs, but you know, all all this, this is also an option. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually a little bit more difficult. This. Bit. Ah, because of that, you have to actually manually jump over, which takes timing. I'm going to cut his face up. He doesn't seem happy about it. Tee hee hee. Oh no, these are the ones that explode. Usually if you cut them, it's fine. You just... You just get health out of them, usually. <laughs> but not this time. <laughs> Realism. It's not a priority. Just go with it. It's fine. This is how physics works. They asked us, who's he striking a pose for? Oh, that's the end. Got eaten. Bye. End of game. On to Rome, I guess. <laughs> I remember this bit. This is way harder than it should be. Yeah, because <laughs> you get one hit killed. Oh, well. You know, we're off to a good start when I die on the first level. You can't see where you're going because there's so much dust. Right, that's done. Oh, now he's an Olympic sprinter.
The laws of physics were good while they lasted, weren't they? Now I'm on a train. It's almost as if they found, like, they had a load of assets that were just picked up from another game and they just had to slap them together in a way that made sense. <laughs> What was he shielding you from? Me? I was coming after you anyway. Oh yeah, on murder. To be fair, you're not. Why did you chain him up if you're just gonna cut him down? What was the point of that? He's not exactly gonna break out. He's like a 50 year old man. Mind if I got in? Damn it, Sam. Oh, you're saying. Give war a chance! Hooray. <laughs> the game just falls apart. It re really was not meant to render that much blood. Ooh. Bit brutal. It's fine. See, here's the most important thing about this fight. Now, now. Don't be shy. Is that he will just wait there for you to come and attack him. But he is impatient, so he'll just start coming towards you if you don't do anything. I'm just enjoying the music. You're gonna Sam, why? Why would you do this? This is the weirdest hug I've ever received. You're just going to push me off the train, is that your plan? Because what happens if you get to the end? Do it... Oh no! It's just... I'm sure this is meant to be more intense than this. The big showdown with, uh, with Sam here. So if you're not familiar with video games, there's a bit of a trope called you're supposed to lose this and it goes something like this. Is it all of the upgrades I get later on? It just jumped off the wall! We're moving at like however many miles an hour and he jumps off the wall. It's not going well.
Oh no! He's... Like he only had like his face. That was the only thing still left that was like organic. Now he's just lost half of that. No. My sword is a tool of justice. <laughs> Even sounds like okay. That was kind of corny. Don't ask how the train is still going. <laughs> it's magic. Probably. Here's, a, here's a, all you need to know about Sam. His sword is a gun. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. People have asked me why I chose this to play as and um guy losing his arm i i can't think of how that would be relevant at all no idea just pushes you what a dick Alright, I'm just gonna leave. I'll see you later. Oh no. You need to cut your fingernails, mate. I suppose you don't have to worry about that on your left arm now. Yeah, I tell you what, I bet he's feeling really lucky now. What with being one arm lighter. But think of how impressed all your friends at Weight Watchers are going to be. Let's see how I did. A B. Yeah, that's fine. That's so that's mission zero, technically. Doesn't count as a mission. Instead this is the first mission. Where we play as a plane. We don't we don't play as a plane. Sadly. As much as I'd love to do sick backflips as a plane. How is it, so far so good. I've got a clean visual. But the next beat the erotic now. But yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. <laughs> Give me, give me ten minutes. There'll be dogs. Trust me. You, you think I would not take the opportunity to bring in one of the best boys? 
tracks from your foes. And two. Absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes. Enemy cyborgs will provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me. Is that combat data stored on holographic memory? Keep the Keep the hang on, Liam. We will have more dogs. I promise. I am authorized to offer you upgrades and serve you <laughs> the same point. How generous. If we were capitalists, had the world come down a few years earlier... I can't, I can't make the cutscenes go this way. It's not all cutscenes. I promise. They front load it. It's not 75%. Objectives, of course, are inter uh, Alright, maybe like, maybe like 50-50. But like, it's not... The bigger 50 is the game, okay? The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Lonnie's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. Oh god, can you imagine if they destabilized Russia? A historically very stable place. They sorted out the budgetary constraints. Keep an eye out just in no. uh, Harsh. Sorry. Ready for insertion. So, hey, do, do you like physics? This game doesn't. does like really really stupid cyborg designs though <laughs> he's got high heels oh don't remind me of the balloon song it's very hot in here it's very warm I am surviving just about it's got one eye they couldn't do better than a, a, a bandage for an eye patch We could, but there's a cat here. This cat is the strongest opponent in the game. It cannot be hit. You, The cat will backflip out of anything. If I had half the abilities of this cat, I would be unstoppable. I will not stop. I'm going to use the blade mode on it. Look at it. Thing's indestructible. This cat is unbeatable. The only way I can win is to push it into the into the water. Even then, I think it's walking on the water. I really don't think they expected <laughs> me to try and get it into the ocean so now it's just walking on the water so you might expect me to go up these stairs but as we know I'm a rebel destroy the stairs <laughs> no more stairs stairs don't exist don't need stairs we go up walls <laughs> Like you, eh? 
Ah, I forgot about that bit. Come on. Mine. So I'm just gonna, just gonna take his spine, just, you know, as you do. Completely normal human being here. Look, you get the magic back flippy cyborg body, you have to eat people's spines. It's a trade-off. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, yeah, you know three. Ooh. Spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With Got SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. Got that, uh, that, that textbook Hideo Kojima commentary on, on modern issues. Muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where did Desperado find these guys? Down the back of the sofa. I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> so no one's going to get that joke. So Kev played another, ga uh, another game? Yes, he played another game. No, he played another character in Metal Gear Solid 2 called, uh, called Vamp, who was a vampire. Metal Gear is not subtle. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Should clarify, I mean the voice actor played Vamp. It wasn't literally just him in like a wig. Though that would be funny. The Zandatsu tutorial is now playable. Yeah, I'll tell you what, what I really realized after getting that S rank. Is how much I need a tutorial. Phone call. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, uh, the enemy's HQ is there. In the That's the route I will take. I have been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the <coughs> road into the old town. Then head down to the <laughs> Liam, why did you put Dwayne in inverted commas? That's his actual name. His name isn't The Rock and Dwayne is his nickname. <laughs> like, he's called Dwayne Johnson. I, I don't know why he has the same tattoo. It, it, just, it just does. Okay. It's a very popular tattoo. Kevin Owens has the same tattoo, and he's also a wrestler. Oh, yeah, I, the secrets. I just know things about this game. Prove it in court. I can't. You, you've got me. I can't do it. <laughs> you know what passes for stealth in this game? Stealth. Don't you talk about Rocky Maivia. Like, here's the thing, you can save civilians in this game. It's not going to happen. This game is not a stealth game and you have to essentially stealth an entire area. And also, it's just handed me a grenade. It's not expecting me to do stealth. Come on. Yeah. 
Okay, well, there we go. What is this? <laughs> little big planet? Yeah, yeah, this is little big planet. Why, 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 are, you, why are you questioning it? This is uh, Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> that is a good point. Why would I bother at the, like drawing the line here? Like at the point where I've let the prime minister die. Why do these guys get to live? This is Katamari. This is uh, this is true. I'm trying to think. Was there any crossover with this and Katamari? Because. Like, in terms of developers, because I know... I can't believe I might actually save this guy. He's actually alive. Didn't, didn't, it gave me some battle points. That's what it gives me. Fair enough. Katamara was Namco. Yeah, this was Konami, so it's unlikely, but it's Japan. There's a lot of people that end up like going between lots of companies. Right, are you ready for one of like the two callbacks to Metal Gear Solid? I can't backflip like the cat yet. Emphasis on yet. Uh, yeah, these are geckos. They moo. I don't know why. Legs. I know, right? What legs? Oh no. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh no. If, it, if an enemy glows yellow, it means they're going to do an unblockable attack. And, uh. Oh, just try to use the dodge button and I don't have it unlocked yet. The problem with, uh. these guys' unblockable attacks is that I can't do it. <laughs> It is kind of Hoth vibes, isn't it? Even more now it's in pieces. Oh, I accidentally cut that guy as well in the background. Oops, my bad. Oh well, I got a hollow chip. Right, let me see if I can stealth kill this thing. Oh yeah, and it hands you a rocket launcher. That's... Equip that. If you've got this uh, put into the slot, then you will you can't die, essentially. As soon as you your health drops to zero, it'll just refill you, as long as you have nano paste, which you get from every enemy. So... I'll show off the... Rocket launches, I get. Did, did you just jump on me? Oh no. Like, bad touch. Stop. Go away. Oh no. <laughs>
lots of people with rocket launchers around here. I'm not a fan. Oh no. That was bad. Nice try. Okay. Nice try, though. You, you know, you gave it your all. It. <laughs> Please stop. These boxes are taking a beating. Right, someone just threw a grenade at me and I'm not happy with whoever did it. We're not friends. You. Oh no, <laughs> we're really not friends. He wouldn't let me cut me in half. As we know, the definitive sign of friend... <laughs> <laughs> You're right down there. The definitive sign of friendship is if they will let you cut them in half. Uh, hint, hint. It did it again! Stop it! Ow. They threw a boom pineapple. Not a big... Not a big fan of it. Please stop kicking me, it's very rude. Mine now. I'm not getting a good rank for that fight. Apparently I'm just not getting a rank for that fight. Okay. We'll move on, I guess. So these give you the bonus missions in VR, the, like, the, yeah, and I know you can play VR missions, let me move, <laughs> there we go, you can, the, the, the uh, essentially Super Mario Sunshine levels, where it's just disconnected platforms. Right, where's Liam, he asked for dogs. Time for dog. Greetings, cyborg. Not just any dog. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Can you imagine getting chainsawed on the chin? It's just painful. Robot chainsaw dog. And you are. I am I am prototype L two eight four I. I am prototype. Interface prototype. All autonomous UGs feature high level onboard artificial intelligence. An additional prototype interface enables verbal communication. I possess an intellect far beyond human reckoning. Oh, he's such a good boy. Okay, then. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? I am here to kill you. Well, he's, that's fair enough, I guess. He's not wrong. Here it comes. I really hope that the music is coming through. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. 
What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate. Because this song is so good. So this air this area and this boss was the uh, the demo essentially for this game which means I played this a lot back in the day Game order is pretty quiet hang on How's that? Go back in now. Backup required. I will exterminate your consciousness. That's a that's a threat and a half. I'm not just going to kill you. I'm going to exterminate your consciousness. Oh, good. The dog summoned a cow. This is the weirdest Final Fantasy I've ever played. Actually, it's not, because I'm fairly certain, pretty certain you can do that in Final Fantasy VII. Did the cow jump over the moon? Potentially. This game is pretty wild. Oh no, bad times. Ow. Please stop chainsawing my face. <laughs> the lyrics have kicked in because the fight's getting more intense. Right, now I know what you're thinking. Aaron, you fucking monster. How dare you? How could you do such a thing? He's alright. <laughs> He's okay. He is an AI. An AI know about freedom. <laughs> okay, he's fine. May have exploded, but he's fine. Sub weapon tutorial. What, like ten minutes after you gave me one? Okay. In here. Hooray! Data storage one of twenty. I know where about one of those is, and that was it. So, hi there. Oh no.
Yeah, you can just steal multiple people's spines at once. I never really, never really figured out what the benefit of that was, other than it looks kind of cool. Repair nano paste. I now have four health bars. There was a quiet moment there for a second. Did you spot it? It, it didn't last long. <laughs> now we're fighting helicopters. Oh no. That's right. I'm doing air combos to helicopters. This is what I'm doing with my day. I think this is one of those times where they want you to use a uh, sub weapon, so... Oh. <laughs> I used it at the wrong time and accidentally blew those missiles out of the air. Which is cool. I mean, it's pretty cool. But the small problem is I now can't use it to blow up the helicopter. This thing is not letting me. But there we go. The fact that climbing up missiles is a mechanic that appears more than once says everything you need to know. Wow, I am a consistent B rank, aren't I? I have no idea how you're supposed to save this guy, by the way. There, he's dead. Bye, that guy. Can I just cut a grenade in half? I forgot you could do that. Are you seriously just going to walk that off? Okay. How am I making fun of him? I'm the guy that walks off a stroke. Oh no. Well, you don't have a leg anymore. You might say, you don't have a leg to stand on. You, you might say that. Please laugh. points for taking their arms. Have a look around. There be repair now the base. My brain's going, there's got to be something hidden around here. Oh god, come on now, be reasonable. Think this through. Got to be something hidden around here, and I'm fairly certain there's actually nothing hidden around here. Oh look, more... Uh, oh, that one's an electrolyte pack which refills my... Oh, I am wrong. I am a complete liar. I am, I am the world's biggest idiot. There is a thing. It's a VR mission. We're not, we're not doing those today. They're, they're very annoying. They're just very annoying. So that
That's where they're holed up. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most likely it opens only if you have the right ID data stored in your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and, uh, borrow it? You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely, platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. Enhanced mode. Oh, look. How convenient. Right. Hi there. But apparently no one else noticed that. That was stealthy. hours is a long time Bravo. but Excellent work. Hmm. I'm, I'm essentially just sat in a chair in it's fine it appears that man underwent oh. modification at the Patriot facility just as you did so I could use this and to open the door which was the entire point of that or close enough. Oh, they're just not going to let me. Okay. Fine then. I guess. You can cut through it, but I guess it, it locks off if you go and get the arm. Oh. So, these guys parry your parries, which is great fun. Alright, it would be great fun if I wasn't being shot. I'm not happy with any of you people. And so this this is what's happening now. But yeah, I am I am well fueled by all of the caffeine and sugar in the world. So. Really, uh, I, I I find uh, you know that's a balanced diet because you're balancing out the uh, the caffeine with the sugar. That's you know, I'm sure that's what that means. I'm sure of it. I'm not a scientist. But I'm pretty certain that's what it is. A 3D photo frame. I'm just going to show what that is. Yeah. Um, no comment. The game knows what it is, okay? It knows who its audience is.
I, I think this is the way I'm meant to go, which is, means it's the way I don't you want to, to go. Plan. First, make your way to the hotel roof. If you tell me to go one way, I'm guaranteed to go the other way. Because just a rebel like that. <sighs> Ah, there it is. So I don't remember where every collectible in this game is. I have a good chunk. sure these are important characters that will be here throughout the game and will have dramatic effects on the story and and we re we just need we really need to remember who these people are absolutely for like the rest of the six hours it takes to beat this game down boy yeah, I just dodged a bullet. Yeah, yeah, that's what All it right. was. I'm heading for the refinery. We've seen him survive falls of, of infinite height. He didn't need to do that. Or the, it's just showing off. I suppose if you've got, it's like, it's like when you get a barbecue and you you do a couple of uh, do a couple of big like cookouts just to just to prove it wasn't a waste of money and then you forget about it it's like that but with a robot body why did he walk off the wall I did. he didn't need the wall anymore Right. Patriot information was in that man's photographic memory. So we're gonna get we're gonna get places. Can't just hang around on a wall. We're not John Snow. Or Channel 4 reporter John Snow. I'm sure there's no relate. Are we <laughs> Are we so completely sure that Channel 4 reporter Jon Snow is not, like, the King in the North? Because, like, I'd believe it if you told me. Oh, good. There's, there's lots of good. He just did not like this one. Is Dr. Pepper a real doctor? I've checked and I can confirm.
1669. That's impressive. Thank, thank you, Mr. Edwin, for, for YouTube from uh, 300 and a half years, 350 years ago. Is that the maths? I don't know. I'm not a mathematician or able to count. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Bonus fight. More helicopters. Ah. Uh. What? Okay. Should probably equip something more than, you know, the the pawn train. Oh. Oh no, bad times. There we go. Dead. like sub weapons as much as I can because they're pretty much only useful early on. I hope the Prime Minister is okay. I haven't I haven't looked at the news of what, what's happened now. Oh do you mean the Prime Minister of a uh, fictional African country? Because no, he's dead. He's he's dead as anything. And so so is his assistant. I can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure he's goldfish as well. It's just a it's a bad time to be the prime minister of fictional African country. Right, the cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. It, it was so likeable. I liked the bit where he did... A, um... There was the time that um, Marnie's a quite a quite a fun name to say. Rest in peace. Oh, these guys. To be fair, I think these guys were in Metal Gear Solid 4 as well. So you know, there's something. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. There's just lots of them. So this stage, please stop. Oh, wait, none of the enemies are really a threat to me. The game's not exactly the hardest thing in the world. Not early on anyway. Later on there's some stuff that can... Uh, well, either absolutely destroy me, or wind me up so much <laughs> that it feels like I'm getting destroyed. Please let me through. There we go. Don't say if it is team must be in here. Find it. 
just stop it. Nike's new campaign. Yeah. Um, I am using rocket launchers on cameras because these cameras are so annoying. Oh, right, yeah. It might not seem like I did anything, but... Um, yeah, just kind of cut the pillar and... This bit hasn't... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it hasn't appeared yet, but that's why the camera just fell off. It wasn't just, like, badly fixed to the wall. Like, the main enemy of Metal Gear Rising is not, like, bad contractors. Though they are the enemy of the world. Oh no, accidentally walked through some lasers. Please stop. I'm not okay with these hugs. I think after this mission you don't see dwarf geckos an awful lot, which are those little balls with arms. So, yeah, I, this bit of the uh, of the mission, not my favourite. Not my favourite. Is it? I don't think it's anyone's favourite. You just have to. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> eh, stealth is not the point anyway, is it? Oh, no! Like, why would you stealth when you can do that? got a steam achievement and I've no idea what it was for. RPG! Oh no. Bullseye. Oh good, a homing missile. For, to use on what? Tell you what, to you to use on that. Do that every time. There we go. Don't have to deal with that camera. That is my gift to myself. You're not you're not gonna let me ninja run up. I tell you, what, we'll go down here first. For <laughs> literally the best collectible in the entire game. Also, the only one where I know where all of them are. It's a cardboard box. If you do this. <laughs> nice hiding spot. Wonder where you learned that from. These are MIB, i.e. men in boxes. He'll just sit there and pray for forgiveness. I'm not God. Good 
but please though, let me climb. There we go. Meanwhile, here's an actually useful collectible. He is living in a box. This is like, here's the thing. They, he will stay there forever. If I don't kill him, he, his life will exist within that box. So if you think about it, really just killing him was a kindness. Also, I've got a health upgrade. Don't pay any attention to that. That's not as important as the man who lives in a box. So we have to go up to the boss, which means we're, we're not going up. Go, go to get this. I don't think I've missed a VR mission so far. I'm not trying to get all of them, I'm just grabbing them as I go. Ah, Mr. Hull. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsayev, where is he? I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian. But white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So Hi, Dave. See, cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know. Wait, me. are you saying that I Dave lost is Mistral? Family. Everything. I didn't, I didn't know Dave was a, a half Algerian, half French woman. But I butchered With those a fuckers. Penchant for arms. My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq, in Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. Look, Mistral's whole character My is damn I love dominant. murder. One Murder's after great. Another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift without challenge. Someone is playing this dream out loud. Is it Liam? Times, and if so, my prey. good. At least and Dave also, Dave should have it on anyway, so uh, and then I, I, I can't believe. Four minute, yeah. Yeah, tell me about it. And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I protect the weak. Oh yeah, we've been doing that brilliantly so far. We only <laughs> let half of them die. Still. Penis. Okay. So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. <sighs> it seems we have less in common than I thought. Yeah, she really likes arms. Take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely <laughs> you are. Do you ever look at arms and just go, you know what I could make out of that? The character is really grey. So there are costumes. I will be able to customize them later. Why did you say that, Aaron? I'm just a big fan of penis. I don't know. I don't know. I just yell it out sometimes. Arms is a terrible Nintendo game. It, 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 it's, I've never played it, but I believe you. Come. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're all right, Liam. I'm, I'm not that desperate. Oh, 
I, I, only, I only intend on doing the one stream. I don't think shouting racial epithets is a good way to, to, to do it. Though I suppose it would uh, take after the very best streamers by being massive racist. Give it to this fight. You have to cut a staff in half. It's, it's not a difficult fight. It can be annoying because of all these dwarf geckos, but if they stay out of the way, then it's fine. But she has more arms. Oh no! Who needs physics? This is like a Fast and the Furious film if they just like dropped all pretense of being about cars. This song's awesome. You know what? I'm just gonna stop saying these songs are really good because they're, they're all. This, this soundtrack is the best. It's the best soundtrack. This one's called The Strange I Remain. You can look it up. So, I believe it. The, uh, the full name is uh, The Strange I Remain L'Etanger Remix. Yeah, I'm cultured. I can look things up on the internet about video games about breakdancing robots oh no when does Ailstorm appear on the soundtrack Ailstorm does not appear on the soundtrack sadly I would love it if a pirate just showed up but I don't well I guess Sundowner is kind of Piratey, but not really. <laughs> You're never out. You try to get out, and I pull you back in. Oh no. Oh, that was lucky. I can't really waggle the left stick very well, because, um, you know, stroke hand and all that. So whenever I get caught in those, it's really a 50-50 chance of whether or not I'll get out. Oh yeah, uh, at the end of each boss fight, you get a moment, sort of like this. Oh no, liquid nitrogen. Where you can just cut the boss into pieces. Like, after they explain all their backstory and their tragic history, like, you just be like, yay! Uh,
<laughs> can this have been resolved by non-violent Dying. methods? Weirdly, oh, that is a massive part of Metal Gear. <laughs> Wait. No, hold on. I am sorry. Her height is 198 hey, centimeters. If anyone was curious. I do not need apologies. Nearly two I meters tall. It's pretty tall, isn't it? I'm fairly certain. I, I know. You will never fall. What? What is this talk about? Misunderstood. She's not talking to you, idiot. Tell you what, she really should have learned the backflipping method from that cat. I'd never be able to be it. That's rich coming from you. It's over, Josiah. Surrender. I think the voice of Kinsin. Translation. Why would I surrender? We are exactly where I want. No, it was a different country. Don't worry. This is Abkhazia. They will be free. So, so far, right? We've been we've been hired to protect the prime minister of random unnamed African country and failed we got so we got hired Understood. by Abkhazia to protect this plant from terrorists and failed we're the worst mercenaries in the world how are we this bad a 69,000 nice yeah, let's have a shade. Let's throw I can't pronounce it. I tried. I gave it a good go. Sometimes you just have to know. Imagine imagine if just you woke up each morning and just said, Would you like to customize your body? Yes. So I've got all the DLC because this is the PC version it comes with it. So I can get all sorts of different looks. Give it, give them three legs. I wish, but no. But you can change. You can be Grey Fox from Metal Gear Solid One, if you want. You can be red. I've, I've got no explanation for that. You, you, you can just be red. Apparently, it does something to give you better grenades. What would be the point of that? Oh wow. Oh, that's hideous. Oh, that is the that is baby sick green. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. Kind of want it. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, I'll give it, give us a vote. Put in the chat which one you want. We've got the original, which is awful. We've got the grey fox. We've got white, red, and baby sick green. Uh, tell me what you reckon, I'm going to take a drink. Baby sit green. Bernard's making the call. Dave, you got a preference? Liam wants Grey Fox. Cool. Ah, oh, you're, you're outvoted. Right, I get it, yes. <laughs> Calm down, dear. So, trust me, it's only going to be for one mission. Because after this, uh, we're going to unlock another one that I guarantee you. Grey Fox is not a dog. <laughs> it's, very, it's very clearly not a dog. Oh, do you mean an actual, like, actual fox? I mean, I guess. Technically. Uh... 
but there's there's something better that's fox related. Babies still want three legs. I wish. Like, can you imagine that? You could just add legs. Like, if this was the spore creature creator. Let's get the commando armor. Let's equip it. Then, uh, well, if needs be, we'll, we'll pick something else out later. We do get the fox blade, but it does cost 200 grand. So I can't equip it. It's a cheap weapon. It just kills everything, like, in two shots. But what I can do is upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I've got it, Bernard. Stop putting baby sick greed in. I have upgraded that, but yeah. I guess it starts on zero. I'm not angry. <laughs> You're just disappointed. My response times have tanked today. I do aim to just ruin people's lives. So, you, they're, they're a secondary weapon. Stop typing babysit green, Bernard. There are, there are unique weapons and you can, you know, have them and use them alongside your, your sword. But, they're, they're not, um, well they're shit, so I'm not gonna. Instead I'm just gonna upgrade my endurance. And uh, my fuel cells. Right, where are you? There! Defense. <laughs> Have you seen me just stand there and get hit by something? It's because I was trying to do this defensive offense, which is your dodge move. Aerial parrio on that as well. You know, I think I can just get all. No, I can't get all of them. Oh. I'm gonna get Thunderstrike. Why are you why, why are you singing Old McDonald in the chat? I don't understand. Have I missed something? Oh, falling light. Oh, falling lightning. I should have saved money for that. Falling lightning's great. Right. But that's that's going to be our riding for the next mission. Um, let's continue. The green is growing on me. I mean, it might do. It looks like moss, so it could easily grow on you. Hey, are you ready for the best character? Like, the best character. So you've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep, all set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Disguised! Yeah. Well, just get into the sewer system ASAP. <laughs> Tough, Lynn. You're going to meet the best character. Just mind their own business. He's, I don't know why he's dressed you sure you want the K9000 there along for this one? Better prepare. The good doctor makes some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, you shut the fuck I say up, let's Liam. throw him a bone. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. It's a robot dog. Let's go. It's the car. It can just drive itself. Adios, amigos. What a nerd. Viste? Qué raro, eh? Hay que hacer que no lo vimos. Vámonos. It's Red Dead Cyborg. This is yeah. It, you th you think that this is going to be like a mission set in Mexico? It's right. You're wrong. It's a sewer level. All right. Let's get started. We are in the sewers, the Desperado but we have got the good boy. Center somewhere so. in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. 
How FYI, appropriate that I, I have come to the sewers looking like baby poo. Anyway. <laughs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything <laughs> this you is, can. This is what happened after of the course, war was built. you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact Look location. Look how long this tail is. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection. Sneak into the lab and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Stealth's we my specialty. Yeah, I've really proven that there? so far. Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodile. Nice to see you, Tiki, but, um. You know, uh, watch out. Uh, wh why would you do this? <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. He's off. He's going. Can't stop him. He's having such a good day. Right. Unidentified UGs are patrolling the sewers. Exercise caution. Yeah, so fun fact, this is why I still refer to Red Dead Redemption 2 as Red Dead Revengeance. <laughs> because literally... I, I, uh... Okay. Uh... Because literally, I refuse to acknowledge that they went Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2. So as far as I'm concerned, it's called Red Dead Revengeance. Because you should just add the word Revengeance to everything. Take out that UG quick. I'm gonna try too much attention down there. Oh, ten missiles. I think that's the commando armor. I'm not wrong. It's good. It's called Red Dead Revengeance. Yeah, yes, burn it. Oh yeah, also there was a gorilla man. Yes, Bernard, I know. What? Hi, Bernard. I see a maintenance catwalk. Use it to conceal I'm not mad, yourself I'm just if disappointed. Necessary. Here's the scene that only exists because it was in the trailer. Peter File. Then do, do I need to, to mute you? We won't accept that, that racism in this chat. There's the right I know. Uh, that's fine. Oh yeah, crap, I did just do stealth. Good job, me. Is there something in here or am I thinking of the DLC? There is something here. VR Mission 5. Aaron, can I have the day off? Yes. If anyone asks, I said yes. Like, if anyone tries to stop you, you say, you know, sorry, I got permission from the dance, uh, the cyborg break dancer. Oops. Right. There is a boy in these sewers. There is, there is a boy in these sewers. Um, okay. I, I believe you, but how's that relevant? That is a good point. I should probably point out that the donations are still open. You can still go and donate. Um, except for if you don't have Facebook, which my brother pointed out is a bit of a flaw. Um, I have just assumed that people can get onto that. 
But hey. Any, anything you can give. If you can't give, uh, then obviously share the stream and let people know. Because it, it's, all, it's all going to make sure that people don't have to do streams like this in the future. Uh, take from that what you will. It's either a good thing or a terrible thing. But I would prefer that the reason that people did streams like this was not because they lost the use of one of their arms and legs. I'd prefer it's that they were put into a robot body. These guys are... Okay. Are you, are you sure, fellas? I'm, I'm not... I'm not certain this is your... Okay. Well, I win. Oh, an electromagnetic grenade. That would be useful in like three hours. See, remember that, because it's we're going to get like... I think it's actually the next mission. And I'm going to point out how useful they are. And you'll be like, ah, oh, you said those would be useful. Right, now are you ready for the worst character? The character so bad they subtitled them twice. How about, um, I don't sing, but we get a reference to Vanilla Ice. <laughs> How's that for you? Plus, if I, if I sing anything, then it will get copyright striked and that uh, the stream will go down and uh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden there's no stream at all. So, you know, pro probably better to, to do the stream and just keep on, you know, telling people to donate. It seems like that's a better way to, to get donations. It's actually been a really weird having to think about this stuff. So it's like, oh, I can't play that because there's like loads of copyrighted music. Like it, I did consider playing through Bayonetta, which is another game by Platinum, but like, I don't know how it would work with the uh, the content ID because it that game is um, overtly sexual. Really good, but definitely overtly sexual, and that would um, probably not play nice. Also, I think there's something thematic about a cyborg video game, considering, you know, it's a disability stream. Not sure you could consider being a robot a disability, but I'm sure they'd have you. Bien. What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah, I'm from America. Call me Ryden. Me name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all them America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no, I'm looking for bad guys. Literally. Research lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them scunt, nah? Top nah, tier voice acting. I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, maybe live on the street, rake and scraper above, nah? Then this good need dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What the worst gonna happen, nah? 
But that mother's gun don't put me on a last boat. They pack us all a pickable doji container. Next thing we know, we're here at the zombie lab. All kids like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here what them skunt want to do. Snuff us out. And got all day organ. So you ran? Uh-huh. It's shame me not a bad ass robot ninja man. Same as you. Ha! <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah? Me done plenty bad thing, but me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. We tried to warn the boy. I say, are you this brain would get cut out? Run your ass out of there. But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, <laughs> I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? I... Yeah. I he hate the channel George. Was super tight. With but there's passion. some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find the server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of that technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. Right, so... Ju just so we're on track... Th this game is now about child organ harvesting. Did did you get that when uh, when when we were we were fighting a woman with eight arms on top of a of a fuel container that then got blown up? Like, did you get that impression that th this game was going to tackle like human trafficking of children? I mean, if not, why not? It was clearly the next step. Heavy UG activity ahead. It is possible they are conducting test operations while the lab is closed. They're not going to make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? Yeah, that's, that's just how that's how stories go. I don't know why you're questioning it. It's... It's a box. How's that gonna help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work, actually. I am a box now. When do the aliens appear? I'm trying to think if there are aliens. <laughs> there might be aliens. I don't think there are aliens, but there are definitely things that look like aliens. They'll never see me coming. Oh no, they saw me coming! Ow. How many Flintstones wizards did George have? Uh, not enough to overdose, which is really the sad thing. There you go, there's something you can Google. Customer support. How do, uh, how many Flintstones gummies would it take to overdose? And how can I give them to George?
I, I appreciate I am just displaying, like, murderous hatred towards a child, and that will probably not, like, bear well on me. But I do know how this story goes, so... He just drop kick me. He drop kicked me like a Dalmatian to Cruella Deville's mum. Spoilers. Fight, bonus fight, bonus fight. Chronic use of more than 10 times the recommended daily intake. So it's going to take like a while for me to. You know what? I should probably just cut him in half. That is usually what riding goes for. So, fun fact, if you're wondering why his name's Raiden, um, it's because they said so. They keep on coming. Even, even though his name's Jack. Oh no, flame throws. You're gonna attack me or. Well, if George does backflips like the cat, then frankly, he deserves to live at that point. I will forgive him of his crimes. But I, I don't I don't see it happening, because if he can do sick backflips, then how did he get caught? Please stop sending flamethrower spiders at me. Why are there two now? Very hard to fight. I, like, I can't believe that Georgia is guilty of like every war crime, like all of them. Like they can't try him under the Geneva Convention because it gets to the point of like he just did everything. Stay dead now. Leave, leave me be. Right, got it. Good, Raiden. Very good. You are charged by this court of yes. That that is yeah. That is what happened. What like? What uh, officer? What did he do? Just, just everything. I couldn't believe it. I was just awestruck watching him because he just did everything. Like, name a crime. He did it. I can't, like, I can't believe that George burned Her Majesty's ships at sea or in port. At sea permission. in port. That's how ridiculous the crime was. Oh wow, there's a electrolyte pack. Ah, hang on a minute. He's he's waiting in the sewers. Found another. Oh, there's a spider. Sorry, fella, I've got to go and deal with a spider. Can I stealth kill the spider? 
Yes, I can. It's not really a spider now that I think about it. More of like a crab. It doesn't really have claws, though. Oh yeah, I uh, might have played this game before. Um, know exactly where the fake wall is. Crab brave. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upset the great god Crabulon. Lord of Crabs. You know when you can't be bothered with turning off cameras so you just shoot them with a rocket launcher? Like that's that's the kind of day that I, I believe that Raiden is having. Another box. Add it to the list. Maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first, you need to take a dump. I... Wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. A tripod or the like. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlet to control the proxy UG. All right, let's give it a shot. So if you if you thought the game was about child organ harvesting, what an idiot! It's now about taking a doom. Like why why would you think it was about child organs or, uh, uh, organ harvesting? It's clearly about puns. Shut up, Kev. That's as stealthy as I get. Oh, hello. Velociraptors? Oh no. Things went badly. Okay, it just it just gave up and apparently lost health there, that was interesting. You're not wrong. If there's no one alive to complain, then really, I did everything right. Raiden, if they continue to increase security, they may shut out all outside network connections. He's lying, Please by the way. They will never do that. It, do, it does not matter. You can, it, you can do what you want. So, as, as you know, this game is now about taking a dupe. So, like... It would be really awkward if there were a massive tonal shift, like, right now.
Yeah, no, it's now about child brains. Uh, game story is a bit wild. Uh, oh, man, I got two. Is that Ernest in the Oh, yeah, it's Ernest in the chat. All right, how you doing? Dream select, I know, right? I am a straight B student, me. Eh? Is it over? For now, yeah. But that room. Those were cyborg brain casings. Da. We saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes. This must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere. But they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? See, yeah, Bennett Wait. told us that, the like, cyborgs you've been fighting, he's the only one that does they work. They seem like they might be kids. You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So, what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? Well, he, he, he said, like, yeah, I basically run the company. And the other kids Is that not true? About. Is he not the head he of data? He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. <laughs> There, there might be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. Actual dialogue from this game. But don't worry, because now the game's about taking control of a tiny little tripod creature. Uh, to locate a data input terminal. These guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto cyborgs' heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious. Game is about terrorists stealing children's brains. What are you not getting from this? What the frick is going on? Good question, Dave. <laughs> yep. Yeah, sorry, your instructions were unclear. I thought I thought that like the the nature of the limbs was not important. Data storage. Is this George you're controlling? No, because if it was George, he would have been shot already. On purpose. We'll, we'll get we'll get to George. George will get what he deserves. Bye. Stealth. Oh no! <laughs> Not stealth. The opposite of stealth. Again, very serious game about organ harvesting and human, like, human trafficking. Like, can't you just feel how serious it is? Oh. Oh no. Just realised didn't get something. It's fine, I'll get it after. That terminal is most likely designed to download is George dead yet? I mean, he's Let's dead in my heart. Access the lab server. You ready for the most relatable thing in this entire game? Hey. <laughs> Titan, I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs, 
guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. Then send us what you do have. We've already commenced the art plan. The Sears program? Yep. Sending one old Georgie boy used on the kids in Liberia. That's Metal Gear Solid 2 again, ignore it, it's fine. Feels as real as anything else. Your work is astonishing. And your work is light. We need to ship for our cover is blown. We've got some assholes. Why is his head tiny? I don't, uh, it, his head is we not tiny, it's just that, like, Each his head is, is in comparison to everyone quiet. else who is massive. It's not like we can just pop them out with an ice cream scoop. <laughs> All right, make your point. Oh. Re remember him <laughs> for like five you, hours later. Say what you have now, I will destroy any unharvested inventory. Uh. Uh, but have you any idea what they cost? Last night, actually, my children weren't exactly rare in the part of the world. Millions of them, in fact. You can get more once we set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here, for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, 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 you'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory in the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Tecumseh is a demanding mistress. And America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. That, that'll be relevant in, like, five missions time. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's there he chief is. of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way Has to he touched out. the kids? George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Mm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. You definitely seem familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. Stealth has failed. Yeah, you can you can just like stealth it up with the dwarf gecko and like stun everyone but why bother because you just have to kill them all when you come through here anyway I mean I suppose you don't have to but you have to remember um why would I not kill a human being if I could so like, without context this stream is going to be used as like evidence in a trial or something like I'm gonna be in a documentary or something how would you do this oh how, how did you get up here you were down there Okay. Oh no, it's too far away. More health. Yay. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. 
You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving. Good news. They can't find George. George is lost. Hooray. Can you fit in some BMX triple X? No. For the same. If I didn't play Bayonetta, I can't get that one. Also, I don't believe it's actually available on PC. I think it was a, uh, a PS1 exclusive. I suppose I could emulate it, but I'm, if, if there's anyone in the world that would actually go so far as to set up an emulator just to play BMX Triple X, they've, they've got bigger issues. No. Oh god, this, this rocket's chased me. Oh no, <laughs> look at this! Look! What rocket is doing that? Are they magnetic? What's happening? Stop running away. Ow. Okay, right, go back to running away, please. I couldn't come up with a name for this one, so he's just called Brad. Friendly rockets. I am essentially fighting a tank, yes. They know you've been near George. <laughs> they have to eradicate every last, like, atom. Can't allow even, even a memory of him to remain. The rocket's called Grant. I don't know. No. Right. <laughs> took me a minute there. The, uh, the tank is called Grad. And I don't know why. Why have they given... Why have they given it A, a name, and B, a name that's just crap? Oh, yeah. I would prefer if it were called Grant. I genuinely would. At least then, like, I'd have some moral conflict about, like, this. But, like, instead, it's just Grad. Robot's dead. Right. Right. I knew I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong, as in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. <laughs> and get this, two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain... You heard it here first. World his is shoe-in for president in 2020. I remember. The biggest ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single Game, uh, largest did not, in military cyborg did not pan in the world. Out. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshall and Desperado in bed together. Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. The <laughs> financial and political... George's suicide. robotic so apparatus disguise. That's it, Sit it was George. keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs. You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Cap. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking, and just no. Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. Eh, uh, mm -hmm. Raiden's white. Those don't apply to him. Denver was privatized and farmed out to 
Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws. <laughs> Conveniently, the place we need right to go, the, the police system. force is part of the group easy. that's evil. We'll figure it out once the kids Doesn't that make everything Jesus just morally, Kevin like, out. black and white? That way, when, oh, I don't know if we were to go there and go on a rampage, we wouldn't have to worry about killing innocent police officers. Which is stupid when you think about it, because if they just left the police as is, I wouldn't be able to go there. But because they have... There we go. But because they have, I can go there and just go nuts. Aren't all police evil? Well, I mean... Raiden is technically from an African country. Uh, I mean, clearly. That is, part, that is part of his backstory. I'm not making that up. He is from Liberia. <laughs> 